Good morning. Finishing the daily, I mean, the weekly, second week of July, tarot reads with Gemini. And I'll continue tomorrow with Cancer Leo Virgo. So, how are we doing, my gems? I feel super disciplined to do a reading. I don't know why, but. Hopefully something that you want to hear is going to come through. Again, this is Dancing Star Philly, a baby new channel for tarot readings and thoughts of the day. Okay, they want to really come out in the reverse. I'm going to take them in the reverse because... They want that. So we have the Magician in the reverse. And the Five of Cups in the reverse. You were unsuccessful in manifesting something. And you were sad about it, but... Not so sad because you kind of maybe expected it. Maybe there was a breakup of a marriage. Or a relationship. And now you're going through healing. You're going through a level of healing, my love. Celebrate that healing. You're waiting for the results of the healing to shine in you. One more. Gemini. I see your storyline. You are in partnership with another heir that come, came very quickly towards you. Sorry, one more. <laughs> Gemini. I guess it was the last shuffle. Truly, see? Bottom of the deck, the Page of Cups. All right, Gemini, so and the world as the last card closing your reading. So, Jemmy's, you were unsuccessful in manifesting something, in bringing maybe a relationship to a higher level. It brought a little bit of sadness, but you moved forward very quickly, or maybe there was a physical move away from that person. that you thought you were going to maybe get married to. Changes happened, changes occurred. And now you're going through an emotional healing of that. Reminiscing a little bit on what happened. Looking at your efforts. Or new efforts are happening. New efforts, new growth, new uh, planting of plants your own plans for your personal growth. What immediately comes after is a couple. This is you here, the Page of Swords. Someone came towards you, a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Uh, they came very quickly into your life. They're very dedicated into uh, moving in with you or having a relationship with you or just communicating with you. Maybe there's texting happening. Um, um, yeah, maybe they're texting you a lot during the day. But you're very much, and I'm proud of you, focused on your own growth. Uh, on your own rebuilding. Because, you know, after every relationship, you don't want to go in a, to a, what, what do they call it? A rebound uh, relationship. 
So you're holding, you know, you're holding your growth like, you know, um, I'm, I'm busy right now. I'm doing my own growth. But this is the two of you. This is a couple or the relationship, the new relationship will move into couplehood. You know, uh, you're both uh, uh, youths. Uh, when it comes to this relationship or it's a new relationship which is why we have the knight and the page and not the king and the queen so this is something new coming in uh, you're still looking you're looking at them so you kind of like that person you know you see them as strong you see them as very grounded on 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 earth um, You know what you want now, at least, you know? You know what you don't want, but you do know what you want. You do know what you want. This relationship, if we can move, forget about that ex and, and or that uh, bad uh, phase. We have the Three of Cups. Sorry for the reflection. We have the Three of Cups. Three of Cups is about celebration. This will bring you a certain level of happiness. But right after the Three of Cups, we have the Hanged Man. And this is about uh, maybe uh, waiting. You know, maybe you're, you're waiting for that person to make the efforts. You learned the lesson. Maybe you did a lot of efforts for, for that past person. Uh, now you're waiting to see what that new person is going to do, that Knight of Swords. Or, or, or you know, you're just uh, being like, you're, you're chilling in your yard and... And you're, you're, you're allowing them enough space to make the efforts for you. Uh, which I really recommend, you know. I really do recommend. Um, there is a happy home. Uh, there is... Uh, again, I want to speak about that new relationship. It's going to bring you a, happy, a certain level of happiness. Groundation in the physical realm but also a happy event. Maybe this is going to lead to a marriage. You know, the star is looking at the marriage card, which is the Hierophant, you know. Not looking at it, but facing it. You know, you're looking at your own healing, your own emotions, your own groundation, as I said, in the, in the physical realm or in that new move that you did. And you're slowly with time, you know, healing is not something we do proactively. It, time is what heals everything. So it's, it's, it's right for you to be in the hanged man uh, uh, position. You know, the light is going to shine in, is going to come in. And after the four of wands, that happy home, that happy event, you're going to receive the world. We have the world card. It's the closing of a major of a cycle, meaning two people reaching the same point, south and north, who want the same things, you know? Maybe that person didn't want to get married, but that person will want to get married. You know, if you have doubt, then take it as a confirmation that, yeah, they do want marriage also. If this is the final goal, then this will give you the world. It will give you what you want. If the world for you is to get married, then this is a card of uh, reaching that goal. You know? The bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups. So that is the offer of love that is coming in. Again, it's a new relationship or it's a new uh, uh, partnership because of being the page, the knight, again, the page. Uh, we still don't have kings and queens uh, in here. So this is something recent. Uh, they, they, they are offering you um, uh, love, newness. And there you go. I, I was really waiting for. I was like, why isn't there the lovers or the two of cups? And I just felt like doing that. And we have the lovers here. This is you, Gemini. This is you. That's the card of Gemini. And that's the card of decision making. 
but also is the card of the lovers. So this is a very prominent relationship. I hope so. Please play your cards right, Gemini. We can't ruin things. You know, this is this is why sometimes we go like, oh, but I thought that that reader said or whatever. But you also need to play your cards right. This is just a little storyline uh, and the probability that we offer for you, you know? So you do have uh, lovers here. You have the lovers card, uh, which is... these guys you know maybe it's another air sign maybe it's a libra gemini uh, or aquarius you know they could be anybody uh, they could be a taurus uh you know they could be anyone but definitely we have a liberation in love not the devil where you're chained not an adam and eve kind of thing which are really the chained lovers that are doomed until they learn their message and they learn the lesson and they understand the game and unchain themselves. We have the lovers. A godly relationship, a godly guided relationship, a spiritually guided relationship, and a destined relationship that needs to take place. That is the non-Adam-Eve relationship. And I hope I don't uh, uh, cross somebody when I say that. This is my own point of view uh, and my own uh, learnings that I share with the world uh, on this channel. But again, uh, you know, we have a Scorpio, a Taurus, a Leo, and a Sa I think it's a Sagittarius or an, Aqu an Aquarius, sorry. And that's the world card. These are the four signs on each angle, angle, and they are fixed signs, you know. So this is something that is here to stay. Fixed. Like your furniture, you know. It's here to stay. Just please continue being free. Continue being libre. Continue your liberation. You've worked hard. You've worked really hard for your own growth, for your own... Uh, emotional building uh, for you not to be scared into going into a new relationship so please continue to be free uh, waiting is also freedom because when you are waiting you are uh, uh, at the same time being grounded you're meditating automatically you're opening your third eye you're telling spirit that it's free for you to enter me and to take the role, I do not want to control anything anymore. I have already worked. You see me? So celeb cel 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 celebratory action is happening. Three to four, you know, is happening. Is going to happen. Make the right decision, Gemini. You're presenting yourself as yourself. It's a beautiful, beautiful reading for you. Take the cup of love, let them work. You've done the work, let, let that new person work to be with you. Let them be the hunters, as I, as I, as I am recently uh, portraying to my uh, tarot uh, seekers and to my tarot readers and viewers. Let, if that's a man, let them do the work. If it's a woman, take them as they are. This is a real partnership, it's new. Uh, uh, make a nice foundation for that relationship. Uh, make it a little playful, but express yourself. Expressing your love is not non-waiting or, or you know, being too out there in the open. No, expressing yourself means that you are sure of your emotions. You're sure, not just of your emotion, of your emotion as a Gemini, as who you are, whoever I'm talking to. Honesty is appreciated by the universe and spirit. You like them, tell them you like them. They took you out on a nice date. Express that immense love. Then when you go home, you can do that meditation and that so-called waiting that I told you about. So there you go, Gems. This is your reading for the second week of July. I'm going to name this um, After Loss, There is Love. Uh, and uh, again, if you like me, please like, share. Please subscribe to my channel. This will add probabilities for the views. And if you want to donate, I am on GoFundMe as Dancing Star Philly. You can donate a little bit. Take the little time and, you know, that little karmic donation maybe will, will bring you also um, a nice return. I, I do believe in returns. 
So there you go, my lovelies. Uh, keep being the flower that you are. And as I always say, see you when the sun rises. Ciao, gems.